You know, people call me a lot and they ask me, how much does it cost to duplicate a CD? So my first response is, how long is the CD? You know, this applies to DVDs too. So I ask them, how long is the CD? And what am I copying it from? Is it from a cassette? From another CD? You know, or are they trying to book studio time, which takes time, hours and stuff to mix everything together and then make a CD. So most times they don't really know, you know, what's involved in making a CD. So I give them a price, usually say about, you know, $5 to $20, really depending on what's involved. So then some people are like, oh, okay, no problem. That's a great deal. But then other people are like, what? That's just too much money. Are you crazy? You're going to put yourself out of business, blah, 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 blah. And it irritates me. I'm just going to be real with you. They have no idea what goes into duplicating a CD at Jackson Music. Forget about the other studios. Forget about duplicating it at your house. You know, if you want to do that, you can do that. That's no problem. But I'm going to educate you. This is a CD that was duplicated at Jackson Music, and it happens to be my CD, which you can actually get from Jackson Music Recording Studio or CDBaby.com. Contemporary jazz music. But look at it. If you look real good, you'll see a reflection. Because these CDs have a high gloss reflection on it. See the screen reflection on the CD? Not to mention that, but this is what goes into making the CD. Okay, watch. I have to buy them in bulk. You know, just like in a store you may say, but the ones in the store aren't gonna be glossy like this. See the ink artwork on here? That costs extra money if you want that. Ink costs a lot of money. If you have a printer at your house, you know when you run out of ink, you're spending about $50 or more. You can't buy, you know, just enough ink just to print out that one piece of paper. You have to buy a whole cartridge. Some of you guys say, well, gee, I could just buy me a computer. Like this powerful one right here, Macintosh. But when you buy a computer, something like that, you're going to be spending at least $2,000, $3,000. You can't use that without buying a monitor. And then again, it's not going to really work unless you have the software. Then you need to get yourself a printer if you're going to print on a CD, unless you use paper labels, which are no good, but then you have to go out and buy the label maker and the paper stuff and still print again. But then you're just having more problems because then the uh, paper can heat up when it's in a CD player and it can get stuck in your machine. Only problem with a printer like this, it does one at a time and it's not always accurate. So you end up wasting some CDs sometime. So you're already in a hole about $3,000 already. After you realize that the Epson is not as economical as you would want it to be, you have to spend more money because you're dealing with clients. You have to make sure that you're giving them something worthwhile. So you end up having to spend a large amount of money roughly probably around three thousand dollars no need to hide the secret because you can look online and see what the price is anyway about thirty five hundred and then if somebody wants multiple copies you buy yourself a tower now you're investing all this money for a five dollar CD that someone wants to pay a dollar for or three dollars for hmm interesting 